Yep. Well, there we go. So it'll kick in in you know a couple of seconds. Well, when but it, when it starts, go through like each of your characters first. I think it's a good way of starting because I don't remember what it, the specifics about your characters. So I hope you do. <laughs> we do. And now do someone's uh, describe appearances or the characters. Uh, appearances and uh, personality. Yeah, sure. And like what he's good at and all these things. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll start then. <laughs> well, we don't know if it's ready yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the stream's working. It says it's live. Well, Inferno heard us, so it must be working. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, all right, then. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, everyone. My character's name is Zod. He's a halfling, and he wants to be a doctor... And his personality is he is short brown hair and <laughs> that's his personality. Small <laughs> and his appearance is very happy go lucky and cheerful and loves to crack jokes and um always gets into fights with his brother Claude, but really they're as close thick as thieves, even though they don't like to show it. <laughs> Done. Okay, Grand. Next let's say Piff. Oh, thank God I found my character sheet. Okay. <laughs> 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 Finally. So, my name is Cloud. And. Claude! <laughs> Cloud. It's fine. It's fine. And, uh. I am. I've grown up with, uh. Zod over here. And we took different branching paths inspired by our parents. And uh, I took the uh, more uh, business side, and he took the more, uh, I guess, healing side of the the family business. And uh, we've been palling around together, kind of exchanging notes about things like alchemy. Growing and, uh, yeah. Growing, yeah. <laughs> Some more successfully than others. It's it looks like pubic hair on my face. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next person then. Let's say. Let's go, Kaiyoshi. Uh, okay. I. My character's name is Reynold. Uh, he's a human. He's kind of tall and burly. You'd think he'd be a fighter, but he's not. He uh, has a short bow and. Does some magic as well. Yep. And then, uh, Zhao. My character's name is uh, Felix Trent. He's a mute exorcist as a profession. Aside from that, he's a happy fellow who enjoys the company of friends and not getting stabbed. <laughs> Visually, he's a relatively short human who stands just above five foot, dark brown hair around shoulders length, who carries himself with a professional demeanor. Suggesting that he's been employed for jobs like the one we're doing right now. Before. He wears a dark blue tinted overcoat with what looks like a plethora of pockets on the inside. And sturdy pants that would look like more at home on a hiker than on a government inquisitor. Doesn't he have a really nice staff or something as well? I don't remember. He has a really nice staff that's about the same size of him. Doesn't look very ornamented, but rather crude wooden. No crystals or anything. Just wood. Okay, so it's not a very nice stuff, but <laughs> and he's very does, good at tapping people on the shoulder and pointing at things. Yes, yes, that's true. He took mastered a... that skill. <laughs> yeah. Now, very axe. This is the complicated one because he's got his dead guy here and his alive guy. It, a yeah. guy. I feel bad because we tried so hard to save him. <laughs> well, my old character here, uh, Anitta, um sadly died. He was a very old atier. Um, and uh, in between last quest and this quest, he simply passed away from all the excitement that he went through uh, last time. Um, plus, I didn't really enjoy playing him. So now, oh, he's gone. Now, <laughs> now I am Hesht. Uh, Hesht is a city guard, essentially. He's the youngest of three brothers uh, coming from a quite wealthy family. All of his brothers went on to do very 
uh, important jobs, but uh, poor Hesht here never really got his head around any of them. He's a very good person. He's very thorough in what he does. He takes his job very seriously, um, but he's, he can be a little bit addled at times. Um, he's a quite a large chap. Um, he's got a nice. He's got a big uh, barrel chest. Um, wears the uniform of a city guard, and uh, yeah, he's, he's handy in a fight, and he's very. Um, he's from what you can tell so far, he's very honest and very um, very eager, but a little bit naive and uh, yeah, a bit bit addled at times. Okay, and then is that, I was gonna. Is this the same guard that I slapped his bum and ran away from? <laughs> it might have been. You never know. It might have been. They just all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. that's racist. <laughs> and this here is Bigsby's character. He, unfortunately, because he can't make it to this session, and unfortunately he may not be able to make it to later ones, but let's hope he can. But um, what's happened then for all these people, all these characters, is after the last adventure, they were then given a post in the city um, Lathor, which, wait a minute, I'll bring up the actual map for you guys of Rune. Yeah. Ooh. So you are currently all in Aishon. And you are, you've been given this position in Lathor, and you are magistrates. You are pretty much not, uh, I suppose, kind of policemen, but more detective type people. You aren't the the ones who go around doing the the uh, beat up the thug type ones. You're the ones who go and figure the stuff out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are we Sorry. detectives? Yeah, kind of. Oh, brilliant. Are we supposed to be smart? <laughs> is, this a, is this our um, faux round table over there? Yes. Yeah. Do we have a desk, a lamp, a cigar, and a hat? I knew the second <laughs> she walked in the office, she'd be trouble. <laughs> Question from the chat: Who will be controlling Bigothy's character? Uh, what I'm going to say, actually, is that uh, Bigothy isn't with you right now, and that he there is a chance he could be. He's staying to do some extra work in Aishin first, and could end up heading to Lathor. Um, yeah. later on to join you or he may be given work elsewhere yeah, okay. in other words he's the end boss no, 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 <laughs> in other words he found a sweetheart he's like I gotta do um, stuff yep under well, the bleachers all we heard from him was he's incredibly busy and cannot make it yeah yeah in game in game okay yes. yeah Okay, so I did actually, I gave all of you, except Squee, I think, wasn't sure about this. I don't think he was here when I was giving it the notes. I don't think Kyosho was here either. No. But there are a load of notes in the Skype chat for those of you who now have it. Or on the stream. <laughs> yes. They are uh, what the major cases you're looking for and other things that you might end up doing. Uh, the major families in the city and a few other characters which you might get involved with. So, um... You guys just, just discuss it type thing. I mean, like, um, just, just, uh, I'll ask, for example, very extra, so you'll remember it and, like, start talking to each other. What are the, what are the major cases you're going to look into? Um, do you want me to do it in character? No, no, just out of character right now, just so we can tell the chat. Probably take too long. Um, okay, so the major cases to look into are that bandits are attacking merchants outside of the, uh, the city walls, and these are quite well organized bandits um not just usual sort of rabble uh the rumor has it that they have a leader called the shadow so that's shadow. case number the shadow the shadow the shadow the shadow <laughs> team deathmatch did anyone out did, did anyone but me Zao the gamers reference yeah from the gamers yep. yeah um Okay, uh, the second one is there's the death of a fallen magistrate. Uh, he's been murdered. Uh, his carriage was set on fire in the street. Um, but who and why? Nobody knows. And also, thirdly, the Thieves' Guild, um, who operates within the city, is generally becoming more violent than they used to be. And uh, we need to find out why that is and what's made them do such a thing. Okay. Did I miss uh, anything? Zow. Uh, yep. Does anyone have any questions about that? No. no. Okay. Wait, uh, I, 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 I might, just a second. I might know which magistrate it is. Didn't we put yes. his name down somewhere? You might actually. Well, let's see which um, one's not here. <laughs> Darian. Probably that one. Darian. Yes, dead people right at the bottom. Oh, dead Prior people. Magistrate. Darian, prime magistrate. Yeah. There he is. Okay. 
okay. dead people of note. Okay. Next thing then, let's get. Uh, I'm not going to ask Squee or Kyosho since they weren't there when the notes been t- taken. Um, I'm looking at them right now though. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Right. Since you put yourself up to it, Squee, the I other did. things that are going in this, on in the city that might be interesting. Uh, there's no fire service yep. because the private companies are vying for business, which means you know, pay us or we'll let your house burn. There are um, um this, there are the two major groups there. I've, I was going right. to say, which um they only occupy. There are a few districts in the city. They only occupy the merchant district. Those fire services, the oh, noble district, and there's the pleasure district and the slave district all of them are done separately so in the slave district there isn't one it's just the slave deal with it themselves in the noble district the actual guard are in charge of that and in the pleasure district they're professional firemen paid for this is very uh yeah, 19th are. century new york over here um uh, i actually based is it was that the same then there then because i actually based it off england because they never had a they they had in, in New York at the time it was, it was famous because they had a fire while they had firemen they weren't really very strong or well equipped what they had were volunteer firefighters quote unquote who would form these rival gangs because obviously insurance companies would offer incentives for whoever put out the fire so they'd start fighting each other for the rights to put out the fire it's good yes, times kind so of. they would literally have a brawl in a street while the building burns down. <laughs> all right um, <clears throat> something more involving is happening with the cult of the slight encountered in the first game ooh and um Strat Strat which is effectively opium is a drug becoming more widespread uh Strat is technically legal from the point of a medicinal purpose but as soon as it's taken from a for a uh what's the word recreational purpose it becomes illegal so you can buy it like like opium back way back when yeah so you can buy it in shops and stuff but only if you're going to take it because it's uh, if it's mm. in a form, prescription. I don't know how it works. Yeah, if it's like in a form which can be, t- it is designed to take it medically. Oh. I suppose you could go and buy it, but not if it's in like a form where you, like, how would it be? It'd be smoke, but you'd smoke it probably then, wouldn't you? If you, were yeah. It. yeah. Well, I'm not an expert. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was gonna say if, if you're basing it off of opium, usually back then they would actually mix it in some sort of drink. Oh, oh okay. Uh, well, as a tonic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that'd be for is that medicinal purpose then? Is it a tonic? Mm-hmm. And recreational, I guess, would be smoking. I'm not sure. Or just drinking too much of it when you don't need it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, it will be only be um, say only medical professional like people can actually go and buy it. They're the only ones who can get it. That'd be me. <laughs> actually, that's a good question. Would I be considered a medical professional or just someone who has some skill? If you go and talk to the two major families, two of the major families who are involved in the strat trade, they may allow you to get some. Okay, if needed. I got it. Because, yeah, the uh, the only people who really deal with it are the major families, and they probably got there by dealing this stuff because it's a lot of money for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Got it. Major family. I out there for a second. Uh, I don't know if it might have been answered while I was gone, but these characters of note listed, do we know of them you once know... we enter the city from the beginning? Uh, so you know of them already. There'll be in notes and things like that that you've been given. All these names. Yeah, I know. No one been given notes, but in character. In character, you would know. You would know of them, and you will probably you will you will meet all of them. Okay. Actually, one of them you only meet after he's dead, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Spoilers. Yep, but you don't know which one it is, and I mean, there's like thirty names there, so oh well. Oh. Wow. Anyway, uh, major families, Beriax. Oh. But I just asked me before. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, there's the uh, Bograds, who are humans. Um, so they are involved in the legal strat trade, apparently. Um, so they're the ones that sort of, I assume, ship it in and possibly out again. I'm not sure. Um, there are four members of this family. Uh, Kinea, who is the head of the family. She, she is the head of the family. Um, Pernsa. Uh, is the head of the town guard um, um, her only son he's a very good swordsman um, Ascat a f- um, beautiful single um, woman who may be a potential romance apparently and Gilby who is Kinnear's brother-in-law and um, her personal guard so Kinnear and then head of the uh, town guard is her son and she's got a brother-in-law who's her bodyguard mm-hmm. I don't know if I can do all of them 
can get someone else to do another <laughs> one. Okay, uh, Piff, you can talk about the Brimmer family. I could. <laughs> uh, Brimmer family, they're humans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they do some sort of trade. They're in the strat trade as well. Yeah. I don't know what a strat is. That's the drug, drug that we were talking about earlier. Oh. That's like opium. Because Variax didn't let me call it opium because. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In the strat trade, legal one. And, uh, Reenich, Reenich. Is, the Reenich. Head, yep. is the head of the family. Yep. Lort is, um, Reenich's wife. Um, Raru. What should we call him? Raru. <laughs> <laughs> Raru. Okay, Raru. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> okay, Shaggy. Okay with that was Scooby. You've been hanging out with Scooby Doo too much. Mm, yeah. Sorry to pick up on his. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's Reed's son, hot headed horse rider, apparently a black horse with a white stripe on its face. Mm -hmm. Who haven't I asked? I haven't asked Kyosho. The last uh, family? Uh, is it Hawrath? Yep. Yeah. And they're 18 and. They're not involved in the strat trade. Wow. Mm. <laughs> what are they involved in? So, whoa. <laughs> well, they're the only one. Uh, okay. Have you taken some strat? <laughs> Sounds like. I, I'm, yeah. Uh, there's Essam, who is an old, powerful mage. There's Tuim, with, which is Essam's nephew, who is a mage. There's Jimor. A female, mm -hmm. a distant relation, fighter, hot-headed, gets into trouble. Hmm. Uh, and then there's Polem, another female with a strange name, and it's Jim Moore's sister. Calm, not one to get into trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the other one better. <laughs> with um, SM, <laughs> I forgot to say, he's an old, powerful mage, and he's also the head of the family, which is just the thing of note. Right, I figured. Okay. Yeah, I was making note of that, because I forgot to put that there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, the other characters, who are just other characters who, like, uh, aren't necessarily involved, uh, with the major families, but are just other important people in the city that, uh, might be important. So, who have I, have I asked you, Zhao? No, you haven't. Okay. Well, you can go over those characters. Well, you like me to keep quiet, so it's understandable. <laughs> the miscellaneous characters are Ina, a massive Grelkin, who is the other deputy? All right, there's um, uh, the other one already mentioned, mentioned but, yeah, yeah, later. <laughs> <laughs> there's Oni, female. He's a knight of the city and hired by the governors. Yoto, also female, best sword fighter in the city, tr and trains the peasants, and uh, caused a bit of a scandal in doing so. Ingol owns majority of the inns and warehouses in the city, along with other things. Magda, female, is a Grelkin, owns one of two brothels. Hers is for those with a quiet taste, and had a bit of an affair with Darian. Mm -hmm. Oh, the guy who died, the magistrate. Wow, okay. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Who's the huh. governess? The governess is the head of uh, the first family on the list. Right, so that's... Uh, Kinnear? Kinnear, okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, Piff, you know what I've noticed? None of these people have known are halflings. Oh, <laughs> God. We're outcasts. You are outcasts. Right? So you are outcasts. Outcast. See? That's, I'm a detective. I'm detecting these things. <laughs> and we enter town. So where's all the halflings? <laughs> you know, where are the halflings at? <clears throat> Bunch of racist. <laughs> One of them pulls out a shotgun. We don't like we... your kind around here. We become those 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 like civil rights activists that are just way too loud, yeah. making big deals out of nothing, yeah. <laughs> keeping my halfling brothers down. <clears throat> okay, um, slaves of the city. Let's go to because everyone's spoken now. Barracks again. Slaves of the city. Uh, just a second, just a second. I'm just making a note. Um, lower than peasants um, owned by the city. So the city as a as a whole, sort of owns them as a state. Uh, we've got Watcher, who's uh, 
He was the oldest member of the slaves. Um, he no longer works. I think he's just become like so uh, ingrained in things that he's just like the one who sort of looks over all of the yeah. slaves, and you know he's the he's, go-to man, I guess, with them. Yeah, he gives advice and all these things. Right? Um, Talon, uh, a butcher within the city. Um, Darian found him useful for autopsies. That's Darian, the guy who died, who we're going to be investigating, so we might want to go and see him. Uh, and Gale, a torturer, lost both hands stealing strat uh, to give to his dying, dying wife. Now dead, but uh, now he's lost both hands, which makes me wonder how he tortures people. <laughs> he does uh, very badly, which obviously him <laughs> better at the job. Uh, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, these slaves, are they like Roman slaves or sugarcane field slaves? Because it's very different how they are looked at. More Roman slaves. So okay, they so are... they still they still afforded a certain amount of respect. Yeah, and yeah. they will. Like if you kill one, no one will care. But, mm. uh, the, the yeah, but they they do have some freedom. They aren't just literally, you know what I mean? Yeah, but they're right. like the involuntary workforce of the yes. city. Yeah, yeah. Are they, they, are they, they, they could probably buy their own freedom eventually. That kind of thing. Yeah. Are they owned by specific people or just like by the city or you know? I suppose you could say that they're owned by the governess. Right, into what, okay. What race are they? Uh, a mixture, but mainly humans. Are they halflings? They're flipping half. <laughs> <laughs> I think unless it says specifically oh they're God. human, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so pretty, <laughs> just pretty human. But, um... Seven years of slavery. <laughs> anyway. Um... Oh, there's where my halfling brothers are at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show. Why don't you go yeah. over the dead people? Ooh, dead people. Uh, there's Darian, the former magistrate, the one whose carriage got burned, I assume. Yep. Um, there's uh, Rizd, yep. an 18 deputy, and Tacit, who died of a strat overdose, who was Essam's son. Mm-hmm. Who was Essam? He is the head S- of the S- of, Right, family. okay. And the deputy H- was killed with Darian. He was killed with Darian. And yeah, and the trolls, the other guy who escaped wasn't, or wasn't yeah. there, he wasn't there at the time. But even if he was, he wouldn't have died because he's a troll and he's immune to fire, effectively. Yeah, uh, but actually, he wasn't there. That's okay. Just out of curiosity, uh, real quick, I was thinking because of the strap might be a, a big thing. Does it actually have any healing properties, or is it just a painkiller? It's a painkiller. It's okay. okay. It is just okay. okay. Got it. I, I'm curious. So, did did the troll like pick up Darian and kill? Reese? No. no. No, he was he was he just wasn't there when they were killed. Or you, um, he was killed in his his carriage was set on fire while he was in it. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, you need to go. So you're you're let off on your journey type thing, and you need to get over to Lathor over there. How are you going to get there? I assume by some sort of traveling method. <laughs> <laughs> that just yeah that just what you said just clicked in my head and i was like yeah you'll be given some horses and things but i mean like um what like route will you take will you go by road will you go cross country what will you do where has the least amount of trees <laughs> this is mainly plains. Yeah, God, I think there's just trees there. <laughs> Don't just ignore him. He's... <laughs> We've he been sent an unofficial first... mission here. Do we get any kind of escort to take us there? You are cons- well. N- no, no, no. Uh, well, wouldn't we like any other sane person take the roads that have been prepared <laughs> for us beforehand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you take the roads. I need to actually ask Ferex, what is the scale of this map? So how long would it take them to, say, get to Arador? Um, ah, oh God, the scale, the scale of the map. <laughs> ah, it is, uh, a well, couple, of, days, couple of days, a couple of days, a like, couple of days, yep, yeah, a couple of days. That's that's I very precise. Days yep. And what, it's like other days? Days. four. Uh, yep. And then another day to Lathor. Should we say that? Okay, so it'll take you three days in total. But on the journey, okay. um, have a bit of roleplay between each other, because... I mean, you, your characters have literally never spoken to each other in the last adventure. Well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something actually I forgot to mention. Zao, wait, who else is a spellcaster? Zao and who else? There was someone else. Okay. You were both given a little globe type thing. Oh. And if you, you can use it to cast a spell, it's, um, it is unskilled. You can cast it unskilled as well. It's just that you're probably going to be the ones with the best willpower and things. 
you can do it unskilled with these arcs, but um, if you use, you can use it, um, if you make a successful uh, magic roll of 15 for the specific arc that I say, and spend two spell slots, so it's not one, it's two spell slots, <clears throat> you can see using, depend, uh, you get one of these effects that happened in the last two days. So if you use the water arc, it shows you what happened at a specific time or a specific event within the last two days. Cool. Air allows you to hear what happened. Earth um, uh, means you feel the emotions of what like people were having at the event. And fire will tell you about magic that was happening in the area. Hmm. And we each have one? Both you and Zhao have one. And is it only good for one use? Uh, no, you could you can use it as many times as you want, but you make a magic roll of fifteen, and right. uh, it costs two spell slots. And and you don't have a name for this thing? It's a globe. <laughs> of sort. Uh, call it like a spirit globe. I don't know. Spirit globe. Ooh. And how big does it take up in the inventory so I can put it on my character sheet? A small item. It's like just something you can literally hold in your hand. Okay. But uh, if you say do water though or air. The, it's the other people around you will still be able to see it or hear it. So the actual globe will show the image type thing. Right. So water was seeing, air was hearing, air, air was, was feeling. The, yeah, water was uh, vision, air was uh, was sound, earth was emotions, and fire like told you what magic was going on. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, is there like a time limit on that? Is like three days or uh two days the last two days right. is it during the last two days or two days ago uh during the last two days so if you give it if you you can name an event or a time so you could say 12 o'clock yesterday or you could say uh when this person was killed yesterday i don't know got it <clears throat> okay so you start on your journey. Have a little bit of role play between each other. This is always a bad idea. It never works. <laughs> I, I always try it. It doesn't now work as often. It doesn't okay. work. You have Felix to force is them. Up a paper that says hello <laughs> and show it around to everyone. <laughs> you know what? Just because of that, I think Cla- Zod is just going to sit there and stare at everyone. <laughs> Wait, I'm wait, then going no. to sit across from him and doing a staring contest. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's going to have a staring contest with the mute to see who talks first. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun. You'll, you'll write down, like, what are you doing? And hold it up slowly. <laughs> I'm going to sit here until you talk to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I think he's cracking, boys. <laughs> he's gonna smile and try to shake his hand. Like he, he's clearly amused by this. <laughs> anyone else? Is anyone else gonna talk to each other? <laughs> no. Okay. I, I no, just, I just picture like like Claude on one side and Zod on the other, just staring at him. Like I think he's cracking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll say something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do, do we even get introduced to? Yeah, we need to talk to him. Oh, that's true. You haven't been introduced yet. No. Uh, he is also he has been moved up through the ranks type thing of being a city guard and has been promoted to a magistrate. Uh, I'll get. To, I'll maybe getting rid of him. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm a little confused. So uh, why is he? Why is he with us? <laughs> uh, he's been given uh, after the other guy died. Uh, they gave you him as a replacement type thing. <laughs> That old wizard, here's a replacement. <laughs> but he's not a chosen one, right? We were the chosen one. That's true. He, he's just a dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the crowd, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, he's like an escort or something like that? No, uh, he, no, I am not. I think you'll find that I am a part of your group, and I will be with you throughout its duration for the culmination of its... It's conclusion, so if you don't mind, I would like to be addressed as uh, an equal, and you should really just 
take me in as one of your own and we should all be very good party members together and work as a group. I am very much looking forward to joining you all on this very exciting adventure. I have never been to Laythorpe before. I expect it will be a very nice place to go to and we will meet lots of interesting people and see lots of nice things. Do you, you breathe? breathe? <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, I know that we're part of your group and we're supposed to be equals and stuff, but... uh Look, we could take a stop if you need to take care of that. <laughs> I don't know what you mean at all. I am absolutely fine, thank you, and I am very pleased you to meet you all. My name you is Hesht, and I am very pleased to meet you. And I hope that my skills will aid us in this adventure that we are on, and I hope to improve Lathor, because I hear it's uh, under a lot of trouble at the moment. Sorry. Okay. Just... Real... Wow. Can we keep him? <laughs> <laughs> is anyone else going to talk, or is that it? Well, I don't know, unless this guy will Can talk. Can the mute talk? Go ahead. Yeah, no. <laughs> Felix is a bit jealous of his uh, prowess with the, the verbal skill. <laughs> like, looks at him like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> don't you have shape? <laughs> <laughs> I this on a piece of paper and just, like, stick it in front of his face. <laughs> I rub it in his face. <laughs> Will you please stop that? I do not really appreciate that at all. I do not... If you have something to say to me, please say it or at least write it down in a polite well, I fashion. I do not, not want up. you to rub it in my face because I cannot even read it. That is entirely impractical of you. Please stop that instantly. Oh, oh I just realized I didn't put the music on. Um, By the way, I added the the Iosia songs that you have on the website which means that it is on SoundCloud but it is under my name. If whoever made them wants me to remove it so they can upload it under their name I will do that but they need to tell me. Okay. Now you're not in the uh, Roll20 anymore. No, we... I exited before and went in again. No. I'll exit again. You just pop out of existence. You yep. see. Yeah, Felix does that sometimes, like, spontaneously disappear. Uh -huh. Yay! Yay, I can hear music! Actually, where's the rune one, since you're in rune? It's here somewhere. It's here somewhere. <laughs> I've got too many music, too much music on this now. I'll find it later. Anyway, yes. Um, as it reaches about, let's say, four o'clock, so you're about here uh, in the afternoon. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, you're reaching about here. It starts to rain, as in complete downpour type rain. I'm putting up my hood. <laughs> Likewise. The rain never really bothered me. It has rained quite a lot in oh, Asian since I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't think I would bother. I will just carry on as normal and just try and ignore it as best I can. I hope my armor doesn't rust, but even if it does, I'm sure that we'll be able to acquire another set at Lithio. I'm sure that because of the quest that we are on and the importance of it they wouldn't mind giving me another suit of armor in order to complete the task to the best of my abilities what do you think okay. i'm gonna walk way I'm up with this guy so I, <laughs> I think i think i think zod's now going to be in front of this guy and stay there until he doesn't talk <laughs> <laughs> i think that's gonna be the harder task <laughs> you're taking one for the team good on you <laughs> So I'm okay. just gonna sit there and look at him like he's completely interested. Like, uh huh. My yeah. guy actually has uh, two points in persuasion. The idea okay. being that he just talks to people so much that so they're just like, okay, what do you want? <laughs> That's how it works, you know. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> anyway, uh, as it starts to get a bit darker as well, you see a uh, a fairly decently sized house coming up. As it's coming to the time, time that you might want to make camp anyway. Uh, well, can we knock on the door? What do you or, mean, camp? Well, Are you going to knock on the door? <laughs> does it does it look inhabited? Uh, there is a light on inside it, yeah. Uh, do you guys want to go up to the house? I want to meet new people. <laughs> I'm a door-to-door -door salesman. Would you like Felix to buy looks this optimistic jabbering? about the idea. Before we go in, I should restart the stream because it's been... Well, it has been an hour, but I want to do it every hour, so, you know, cliffhanger. Yep. Dun, dun, um, dun. But yeah, I'll just stop it and start it real quick, just so you guys know. In the stream.